It's a sad day, everybody. I fear that we might be reaching the end of Only Use Me Blade. You know, he's sort of like some sort of mythical creature. You always think that you're about to capture him like a leprechaun. Just, you know, 400 pounds heavier and an alcoholic and a normal size. But basically the same as a leprechaun. You try and capture him, but he just disappears. And that's what the Grim Reaper, I feel like, has been experiencing with Blade for the past several years. And unfortunately, I fear we might be reaching the the point, we're way past the point of no return, but we might be reaching the point of, better, better start saving up for those funeral costs, Blade, because, <laughs> you know, the money you're saving to buy a house might be uh, better equipped in some other facets of your life. So essentially... Blade does a stream where he starts to feel leg pain, goes to the doctor, they check him out, and later on, I think like a day or two later, Beck's new boyfriend, who's also a fat alcoholic, shows up at Blade's house and like almost dies. <laughs> so we've got some medical emergencies going on in the Blade household. There's a lot of drama going on, whether or not he'll be evicted soon, we'll see. Either way... I want to shout out Billabong Matt for having these clips of the hospital. There are a few other channels I could have poached this from since Blade deleted the stream, but I thought Billabong Matt covered the most important sectors of the stream, and some of the other people like Wings007 I'm not going to give any credence to, so go check him out. He has great clips, obviously. If you watch Blade, you know who Billabong Matt is. Either way... Enough rambling, let's get into it. Fuck, dude, my leg is killing me, dude. Do all those that feel scammed, I'm taking a triple to make up for it. Dude, my fucking leg is killing me, dude. You know, it's a great solution. You're having leg pain. You're feeling you're feeling the burn. You know, might as well make your throat feel the burn too as he takes a triple shot of Jaeger. We're going to find pretty quickly that Blade just really doesn't care about his own health. I mean, it's not surprising. We see what he does on stream every day. But even when he's faced with reality of actual repercussions, he really doesn't care. And it's going to be very evident when he shows up to the hospital. But hey, Ayo, hey uh, text to speech three dollars, uh, figure it out, dude. Feel it, feel it. I bet it's warm. Let's feel it. I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to feel it. Yeah, for some reason it's really hurting, like, it's been hurting all day, dude, but it's like really hurting right now, dude. You guys might get the leg. I'm not even, like, I'm joking, but I'm not, dude. Like, cut this motherfucker off. Yeah, we're definitely we're definitely going to the yard ER tomorrow. It's it, it it's a fact. Let's see the leg. Let's see the leg. It feels like there's a little pus in there, dude. Yeah, I wonder why it feels like there's pus in there, Blade. Why could you possibly think that? So, uh, it's assumed that he has some sort of, like, cellulitis on his leg, which is, like, a bacterial infection. But, I mean, it's compounded with that. He's not taking his diabetic medicine, so his legs probably aren't getting good circulation. You know, we're gonna see when he gets to the hospital. I won't spoil it right now, but his, like, blood pressure is insane. So... You know, he his entire body is, like, self-destructing, so it's not surprising that somehow his, his leg holes would get, you know, infections inside of him. And so, yeah, he probably does have, you know, and maybe, he, you know, he's at risk of getting, like, gang, gangrene, you know, where his tissue starts to decay because of an infection. But Blade doesn't really care. You know, he's gonna, he's gonna, we'll, we'll go tomorrow, guys. Why go, it hurts now, but we can push it off. I'll just go to sleep. It's no big deal. Just 
just dump, not trouble. Yeah, just, you know, just a little dump. Yeah. Hurt. Hurt. Alcohol never killed anybody. Blade, my boy. Never change, Blade. You know, I'll always appreciate you for being this delusional, this, uh, just, you know, the comedic timing is just on point. And you, I, I forget the name of the other dude that's in the stream, but Blade basically has these, this gaggle of absolute imbeciles in his house now that are streaming with him. Dude shows no concern for him. Not surprising. You'll see later with this other guy, X's, or uh, Beck's new boyfriend who almost dies. The people in the house really don't care. But Blade just took a triple. And then immediately after that, he's now taking a double. And now he's going to go to the hospital. That sounds like a really good combination for, you know, life saving <laughs> medical care. That's really going to fix you up real good. You know, he's, he's obviously trying to numb the pain through liquor but like i don't know i don't think that's gonna work buddy you know but but, but what do i know i'm not as a, a veteran alcoholic like blade is you know he probably has some like you know backwoods you know uh, witch doctor studies that you know people in 600 a.d in the aztec empire that were really surviving off of this so, I won't judge. How you doing? Uh, so I got this like, I think it's like an abscess or a blood clot on my leg. Alright, Wait, I gotta put you away. Yeah, we're gonna stream through it all, everybody. I know you were concerned that we wouldn't get content out of this, but, but Blade's a man of the people. We won't get great viewing of everything that goes on, but he's going to make sure that we see what's going down. And for, you know, for any other uh, sick patient like we will see here pretty soon, I would be super grateful if some smelly, fat, loser streamer came in and started to stream and at least show the audio of what I was going through while I was in the hospital. That's cool, dude. That's really cool. And it's funny that he's like coming in and he's like, I think it might be a blood clot. I don't think that's what blood, I don't, I, you know, I, well, once again, I'm not a doctor, but I don't think blood clots are hyper obvious <laughs> when you get them in your leg. I think it's a reaction and then you like have a heart attack and then you have to go to the hospital. An abscess, maybe. Maybe he's got some some little pocket of something in there, but we'll find out soon enough. Hey, man. Yeah, so we, we, we come to the fortune of some dying wildebeest that is pulled into his room that's vomiting everywhere. Very grateful for that, you know? This is... This is what Blade sounds like off stream, guys. You know, I know Blade's life is basically on stream 24-7 now, but this is this is Blade's alter ego. You know, this is Lit Romney spelled backwards. And, you know, I'm really appreciative that he's just airing the grievances of random people inside the hospital. Uh, I recently moved and I haven't fucking been on my diabetic medication. You know, uh, I went to the doctor. They need proof of fucking residence because I just moved here. Um, but right now, over the last day, I got nanobots. Okay. Now, this right here is what I'm talking about. Yeah, you got cellulitis going on. That's for damn sure. Yeah, so I need a drain or whatever, and... Go ahead and start turning red and nasty on you. As soon as nanobot came to the stream. Hey, when, what day was that? Yesterday. Yesterday. All right. I think he's been there more today. Yeah, it's, he's had it longer, but it's, uh, I'd say the past few days that I've been around him, okay. it has, uh, severely gotten worse and red around it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So this is great. You know, we find out that, and, and it shouldn't be surprising, we see Blade in public a lot, but his persona just doesn't, this is him. This is Blade. He's gonna say, figure it out, dude. He's gonna say, we need to get this out, dude. I got nanobots in my leg, dude. Your poor dude. You know, we're gonna hear all the spiel, and it's Blade. 
There is no act going on. This is the person that we're witnessing. And this poor doctor, you know, sometimes I wonder about that. You know, I'm a relatively healthy person. And whenever I have to go to a doctor or like urgent care, or like a hospital or something, I'm always sitting there wondering like, man, you have to feel bad for these doctors and nurses and stuff sometimes because you have people like Blade showing up. And thank God that these people are so virtuous to be able to to try and cure people like this because that's the majority of the people stumbling in there. It's not Joey 9 to 5 that, you know, got the flu. It's Blade <laughs> who's not taking his diabetic medicine and is an alcoholic and his leg is about to be chopped off. That's the person he has to deal with. Bless the doctor. You need to check the living room cam right now. My leg doesn't even hurt anymore, so we go. It's up to you, dude. Like, <laughs> insane, dude. Like, I mean, maybe ask them, uh, uh, estimate Tom, and you decide from there. If There's a lot to examine here. I'm not sure who Nanobots is. I'm not sure if it's the chick or this dude that's here. And I feel bad for not knowing the names, but it gets thrown around all the time, and they're mostly irrelevant characters. Either way... He's looking at the stream of her just eating like some gross cheese sandwich thing as she's just sitting inside his house while he's gone. You know, they, they have all the cameras set up in the house to show what's going on 24-7. And it's just like, alright, so you got homeless lady over there eating cheese sandwiches. You have Blade sitting in the waiting room after getting checked out initially and just saying... I feel better, dude. Let's just get out of here, dude. You're not even going to wait to get, like, antibiotics. You know, maybe maybe you don't have to go back and, like, get it drained or whatever. You probably should. Obviously, you should. But you're not even going to wait for free drugs. Blade, you're missing out. There's a new path of addiction that you're about to experience. Don't back out now. Go full send, brother. They might want to potentially do an ultrasound on your leg, so let's go ahead and have you slide everything off again. Maybe I got to do it on but it literally just happened today, so. You have any pain? Huh? I don't know, they like a scoreboard or something. Oh, I mean, I think you're winning. So first off, I didn't even know this part, but Blade decides to smoke a cig outside before coming in. That's that's an A plus move, buddy. You know why don't we, let's let's chain smoke a couple cigs outside, raise that that blood pressure, raise that heart rate. Let's get it up there, baby. And then we see he has a 164 over 107 heart rate. And if you're if you're curious, they're they're changing the numbers a little bit. Initially, for a long time, a good number was a 120 over 80. That's like a healthy heart pressure. And now it's like somewhere in the 120s over 80. And essentially, the top number is the pressure sending blood out of your heart. And the lower number is blood coming back to your heart. So, having... And I, I have some doctors in my family, so I've talked to them about this. If you get over 100 on like the bottom number you're at like severe risk of a heart attack like severe risk and that's when and basically 160s is also really bad it's basically once you reach one mid 170s to 180 that's when you're like basically gonna die and 160s over 100 plus is like you're at high risk for a heart attack now blade doesn't care he's gonna keep drinking and, and, you know, I'm sure the infection in his leg is probably making his heart pressure increase and his heart rate increase, but who cares, dude? Back to the stream, dude. I'm not trying to get healthy, dude. Yo, are you vibing? Hey, vibe check? Vibe check. Really? Vibing. Dude, morphine's cool, bro. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> Bad Shit, idea. Down, Been there, done that. Really? Yeah. So I feel ashamed because I think me and Blade have the exact same type of wallet. Some like $15 wallet I bought on like Amazon like six years ago. 
that has a place that you can slide your ID in and out, and it's like supposed to be a knockoff like Ridge Wallet or Thin Wallet or whatever you want to call it. But this dude, he's geeking off the morphine. He's going hard, you know. And please, let's get let's get Morphine Blade up in here. Let's see him streamline some morphine into his system while he's on the couch at home. That's what the fans need. He just, he can't help himself. You know, it's its his Tourette's. He just has to blurt out the N-word whenever he has a chance to. And, you know, unfortunately, I can't show the zoomed-in clip of the doctor putting the needle into his leg. But typically speaking, when they do this test and you feel the burn, that means that you do have an infection going on within the area that they put it into. So yeah, Blade's leg, let's chop it off. You know, I want to see Peg Leg Blade. You know, I think that would be a very good arc for Blade to go down. And, you know, I hinted at an eviction earlier. It seems like he's going to be kicked out pretty soon. So I think he should move to some hillbilly land that he can build his own pirate ship and be in control of that. Who would be opposed to that? That's why I want to know. Other than that, you are good to go. Oh my God. Uh, get You're free. Right. Head out. You're free. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, guys, when we go live, we get back to the house. Show you boys some fire cells, dude. That's right, baby. We're going home, and he's going to do more fire sales when he gets home. And, you know, I thought I would include it. I thought I'd let you guys see the nurse's ass. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man of the people, you know? I'm allowing you to get some goodies going on in here. Either way, we get to see shirtless blade. We get to see high blade. We get to see almost legless blade. I mean, we're getting all the hits in this initial stream. And now we're going to transition back home, and I think this is a couple days after Beck's new boyfriend, who is very similar to Blade, comes over, gets absolutely hammered, and nearly dies. So that's pretty epic. He's fine? Alright, fine. There you, go. you say he's fine? It's on you if he falls and breaks his, his face. He's the one that wants to stand there. Like I, well, I'm trying to get him to fight. He's passing out, dude. He's drunk as shit. No, he fine. needs to lay the fuck down. This guy looks 100% stable. This guy's name is Willie, Beck's new lover. Do you see any similarities between him and, and Blade? I surely don't. It's really hard to tell what type of person Beck goes after. But, if it, you know, he, he's there, he's hammered, and he's clearly stumbling while leaning up against the counter. And, you know, if you remember, Beck mentioned previously that she was afraid that Blade would be stumbling down those stairs... But yeah, we're just going to leave this obviously completely hammered guy leaned up stumbling over right next to like a 10 foot drop into the basement. That sounds really good, dude. This is going to work out perfectly. He doesn't want to be um, he, Yeah, you're right. He's not even awake, so he doesn't want anything. You know I fucking told you. I fucking told you, bro. Uh, I don't know. What do you think fucking happened? He fell over. Well, that's because he was leaning on something. Yeah, and I kept telling you who's going to fall. Now he's on the ground. Now he's where he needs to be, so it worked out. All right. Aren't these guys, they're just great friends, right? Well, now he's, now he is where he needs to be, on the floor, after bashing his head against the trash can and smacking his head against the hardwood. That's where he needs to be. And you can tell, the dude who's, who's videoing this... He's looking at him, the dude is like leaning at like a 45 degree angle. What do you think's gonna happen? You, you're not gonna try and push him to try and center his balance there? Of course not, because we're here for the content, bros. I got my weed socks on. I'm, I'm dripped the fuck out, alright? 
We see this guy with the two guns, did a little too much, and now he's out. Oh, he got, he's done. He's drunk, drunk on Ambien, hasn't slept, smoked weed. He literally was linked up against this, and then went boom. Yo, Blade just walked in, asked what happened, and I told him what's going on. Yeah, for certain, Willie is done. Can you imagine? This is your life. You've just drank yourself into a tizzy. You're about to die. You know, your lungs are getting filled with, with liquid and bile. You're about to suffocate. You're laying on the floor almost unconscious. And you have this complete degenerate freestyling over you. Talking about how much of a loser you are. Oh, man. Is there any worse way to go out? I'm not sure there is, you know... I, I have a feeling the Grim Reaper might show some sympathy here. You know, he spared Blade. I think he might spare Blade's clone. So, oh man, I just can't imagine. I can't. He's drunk. He's limp. He'll, he'll brace his own fall. Mm -hmm. A thousand dollar dono? Well, dude, no, no one's I could, I could, I could give him some of the money. I don't think he'll be that mad. He's really no drunk. One's sending you all right, don't. All right, if you're being serious, Chungus, don't do it right now. Maybe, maybe. Was that Chungus? Yes. Chungus, are you Chungus? Yes, You're going to drop a G on that. So like the great friends they are, they're getting supplies to color all over him while he's basically dying on the floor. You know, that's very epic. That's very cool. I understand. They did it with Blade several times. They turned him into Pepe Frog. You know, it's cool. And then Big Chungus sends a donation and says, I'll give you $1,000 if you throw him down the stairs. If you throw him down the stairs. And you know, you, you know, Airsoft Fatty and Only Use Me Blade are the two guys on this channel that I feel like there's still a decent amount of support of people trying to argue whether or not I think these people are complete degenerates. And it's no surprise you have the big pay pigs inside the chat saying, yeah, let's kill the guy. Let's throw him 10 feet down the stairs so that he just bashes his skull in and is dead. That sounds very epic. Very cool, Big Chungus. Very cool. Let's do a clown. We'll slip him on the side, too, when we're done. Put red on his nose. Yeah, make it real. The whole nose red. Like, yeah, yes, yes. When the paramedics show up for this, they're going to be really happy that these guys decide to put probably toxic paint on this guy's face as he's like fighting to breathe and fighting to stay alive. You know, I'm not, I'm not over here saying Willie's a good guy. I'm not doing that. But I'm also saying I don't think he deserves to be tortured and, and nearly killed while dying on the floor by his supposed friends inside the house. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to get the point across. These streamers are the most selfish, self-centered people I've ever witnessed. It's preposterous. Why you would ever go over to their house is an anomaly. He's out. I said it's fine. Okay, but people were saying it could be a certain type of breathing to where he's dying, and they're saying Something the way he broke. fell, maybe he broke his neck. And I just feel like they're like... They want to make more content out of this by getting cops here and shit, or an ambulance. No, they're just overreacting. Nah. I really, like, I, I really should be okay, dude. Like, I, t I tried so hard to get him to go lay down. I kept telling you to help me, bro, and you kept... Okay, he's still unconscious right now. Yes, he's snoring. He's snoring. He was on his side because he was drinking. I move what? I mean, he's just on the ground. Okay. Now what? Did that help with the snoring a little bit? A tiny bit. Okay. Yeah. But is, is he, can you feel or hear any breathing? Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's snoring, breathing. Okay. Lisa, we're going to count his respirations really quick. Look at him closely. Mm -hmm. I want you to say the word now every single time he takes a breath in. Go ahead and start now. Now. Again. Now. Again. One more time. Now. Okay. All right. He's actually breathing a little fast, but he should be getting... 
and that pair that way. I want you to watch him really closely. Yeah, we have him. We have him. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So of course these guys think they know what's best. You know, the trolls are worried because this dude is taking really deep, really, I don't know how to describe the type of breathing, but like sort of gargled breathing, snoring type of sense. And on one hand, that could just be he's knocked out, he's passed out, and he's asleep. On the other hand, that's the noise that you make when your lungs start to fill up with fluid because your, like, internals are bleeding or, you know, your your, your body is in, like, self-destruct mode. So this guy is, like, potentially slowly choking himself to death, and they're just making a whole gag out of it. They also were very uh, worried about calling the police and calling somebody the paramedics to show up because this dude is drunk and he took some ambien he smoked some weed they're worried he's gonna go to jail i think you should be more worried about him dying inside of your house because that would probably be worse for you that would not look very good on you to just let him die on the floor but they eventually figure it out and they're working through with the with the paramedics with the the call receiver you know it's all gonna work out dude it's gonna be great dude Okay, so basically, um, he just got here this morning, like 6 a.m. He had been driving all night, so he's very sleep deprived, okay? And he's. What? What? Well, it's, my, it's in our own home. But yeah, don't send us, please. Okay. I just want to give a patient care. Okay, alright, my bad. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Sorry, we're YouTubers, we document everything. But, anyways, alright, I'll pull it up. But, anyways, what I, but what I say. Uh, he had been up for many hours when he got here this morning. He started drinking heavily and he passed out like this twice now. Okay. All of the weapons. This is part of this. Isn't this guy, he's a great friend. Two thumbs up, guys. Because the paramedics show up and they're like, can you not stream us? Can you not record us, please? We're here trying to save this dude's life. We prefer if you don't film us. And the dude's initial reaction is, well, this is our home. Uh, you know, this is our property. I can do what I want. You know, like, common courtesy and morality with these IRL streamers is just thrown out the window when they can get a little bit of content just a tiny bit more you know a little bit more donos showing up you know and so then he goes and puts it on the counter the the paramedics like it's still on can you turn off the camera the dude picks it up turns off the camera and says see look it's off i turned it off dude he's not gonna let any amount of content disappear from the stream and it's quite grotesque that's his medication, so we don't, you know. We don't know. Is we don't know for sure. Like I think he may take Ambien. I think that might have been mentioned earlier. Okay. But I know what started it all is he was really sleep deprived when he got here. He drove yeah. like 14 hours, and he started drinking really heavily, really fast. And he passed out, sort of like this, for a while. But then I think 30 minutes, two hours later, he got back up like normal. He was still drunk, but then he started drinking again. And then it happened again. He fell over right there. You know how much he's had to drink? Um, I would say, I would say at least eight shots or so. So both Blade and this dude are like scared shitless that the police are gonna like arrest him or arrest them or X, Y, and Z. And you know, I I've alluded to it a little bit about the eviction, and I think that having some dude within like a week of you living there get hospitalized and have to have the paramedics show up is probably not a great look on you blade but now the police have showed up and now they're afraid because they're like well uh, should i tell him what the, what he actually took yes you should tell him what he actually took because trying to hide you know the t the types of things that you've ingested from doctors from anybody is bad 
you know there might be consequences in the future but supposedly your life is supposed to be worth more than that i know these guys don't care because they're going to keep streaming and doing whatever but we're playing in a fictional hypothetical scenario i suppose Tone live news. Tone live news. And there he goes. Beck's boyfriend taken away to the hospital. Who would have thought? Beck gets a new boyfriend like a week after they break up. And her new boyfriend's the one that gets sent to the hospital, not Blade. Shocking. Now, Beck does show up eventually, and she complains and says that she's going to charge them if he ends up dying in the hospital. We'll have to see how that whole saga shapes out, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, peace.